Hello everybody, uh, Black Arts Pop Culture here with a really cool uh, Build-A-Bear review video. Um, as you'll see by the thumbnail, uh, this is the most current uh, Pokemon Build-A-Bear that, that's in stores. Um, I have been wanting to uh, try to uh, review this uh, particular Build-A-Bear for a while. Um, if anything, I was going to either wait until the next week after that it, at least for what store, you know, that I go to. Uh, said it released, so I don't know if it was worldwide or only in certain locations and whatnot for Build a Bear, but at the very least, I wanted to at least maybe wait like a week or so, and then it just certain things came up, and then I at least did some shorts and whatnot on my uh, channel. But uh, other than that, you know, I, I, it's been you know somewhat hectic. I mean, not that I've been entirely busy with work, but at the very well at least, I really wanted to, you know, relax and everything because how certain things have been hard and whatnot throughout my uh, couple weeks and whatnot, and then trying to recuperate, and then trying to rest up for any of the stuff, because uh, there has been a couple of holidays coming up, or at least certain things and certain days that, you know, it is busy just because either something's going on over here, or it's a holiday, or just, you know, in general, how it usually busy gets, like, like you know, considering we're almost, like, what, another two months away for the summer to be starting and everything, so it is going to be hectic or, ugh, hectic around this particular point in time of uh, the year for me, or at least for anything like, you know, being at home, you know, and try and hopefully recuperate, but also try to do a video, so I don't really know how it's going to end up being, but at the very least, now I'm finally doing this video, so enough with explaining, let's get into it. I'm really happy to be finally showing this off. I was actually surprised that all of a sudden, out of any and all times, that, you know, of anything like, you know, a random Pokemon, or hopefully the next starter, which I'm really hoping that they start doing some stuff with the starters, because you think by now, all we've, I think we've gotten so far is the ones for uh, Kanto is all three is all finished, and we got the ones for uh, Galar, but yet we don't have anything of uh, Johto, we don't... Uh, have anything of well actually we have one out of three for Hoenn. Uh we have one uh out of three for Sinnoh. Uh nothing of uh let's see. Yeah, we have nothing of um Unova or uh nothing of uh um Alola and it, it, I mean like we've got specific Pokemon, yes, yeah. And also uh concerning the fact of uh I guess it would be I think what out of the couple maybe for a lot of people the hardest to get uh the only thing i've seen so far other than that uh charizard has been now uh or, or at least uh i think I, what a month or two ago that uh charizard has been debuted only online and if anything it's a very expensive one other than just the base price then you got sales tax and then you got the heavy shipping uh because you can only do it two different ways because it doesn't do economy and whatnot and that it's uh very very big expensive uh plush to get for at least anything with like you know a, something that's the final start a uh, final evolution of the starter pokemon uh so anyway um i actually really wanted to do like somewhat of like a you know talking a voice and whatnot because considering as you, you already find out by the name i uh, picked out for this builder bear and also with the builder bear in general and everything uh Again, like, it just seems so weird, like, of all of a sudden, like, you know, it's good to have another Sinnoh, uh, Build-A-Bear to be introduced and everything, but it just seems so weird how all of a sudden now, or at least, like, as of when it debuted, why all of a sudden now that, you know, introducing another Sinnoh Pokemon, which, you think at the very least, if you're gonna do Sinnoh, at least try to do the next two other starter Pokemon and whatnot, or, or at least, at least, out of anything, if you're not gonna do much of anything else for a particular Pokemon, at least try to finish and debut all the starter pokemon so at least that way you, you finally have either you have whatever you have so far you collected for a starter pokemon that you love or at the very least you know you have whatever in in a collection you know depending on how you feel about the starter pokemon so um without any more delay of me talking and explaining i'd like to introduce to you guys all this is peanut butter this is uh, the Bidoof uh, Build-A-Bear that I uh, got, as I said before, I think it was like, as of right now, I think I towards the end of last month or something like that. Uh, I was actually shocked because uh, it was one of those particular times, you know, always staying somewhat vigilant over um, the Build-A-Bear online, uh, or no, not online, Build-A-Bear uh, well, online store or Build-A-Bear website. Uh, and I, I was scrolling down, and all of a sudden I saw that uh, Bidoof has been uh, introduced, which, again, it just seems so strange. I mean, I'm really happy that Bidoof is finally, you know, 
or at least like I think what out of the what I've have seen for like the Pokemon Center website, there's not really much of uh like anything like uh, as of this big you know as you can see this is like a very big plush and everything for uh Bidoof. um you know like i thought like maybe like if anything if they were gonna do something like this you think it would be like on the day of i'm not sure if it's exactly set in stone for Bidoof day or if that was more of a parody than anything else uh i still haven't even got to see that commer uh, not commercial cartoon excuse me about that uh that, uh, you know, and they did the whole Bidoof stuff. I, I'm, I'll be surprised even if they actually do anything for another day, you know, considering they have, they have Pokemon Day and then the anniversary of Pokemon Go and everything. Anyway, but, you know, I'm just so happy and surprised that they actually, you know, wanted to do Bidoof for the next, uh, as I said before, in store, you know, uh, Pokemon to be in, which, you know, again, you couldn't really, you know, ask for anything better. I mean, you know, that it would be nice getting starters. But uh, really cool, uh, very nice, uh, good size for like, you know, huddling, cuddling and whatnot, depending on what you uh, want. Or at least, you know, like what, what you prefer, uh, either to a Pokemon plushie or at the very least a Build-A-Bear, all in general and whatnot. Um, most of the material is like a nice soft, um, you know, like a very, very nice and soft feel to it. Uh, it's that uh, hard felt, I'm not sure exactly what you could possibly say, but it's like it, the... It's like one of the, the, the heart uh, that kind of felt that it's really hard and whatnot. I don't know if they did anything to it or if that's how it comes uh, for the teeth. So just, you know, be careful with the tooth because, you know, a lot of times with that hard felt stuff, like if you bend it and whatnot, that it will uh, not look as straight as it used to be, depending on, you know, how everything is. Um, you know, the usual stuff, uh, the outfit for uh, in-store was uh, the Lumberjack uh, uh, flannel shirt, I think it was considered as, or, or something I can't really remember. And then the online thing is a bandana, which uh, it, it's kind of funny out of all the particular times that Bidoof actually gets something of like, I'm not sure exactly if you can get uh, the particular Pokemon as a, the person, the Pokemon you play, or depending on if there's like, I think when I remember researching up for the specific game franchise that uh, for Bidoof for any of the mystery dungeons, it's like a character, not really much of like uh, that you can be Bidoof. I mean, you think with all the stuff going on, and especially with the Dorkly stuff and everything, you think there actually would be, by now you can play as Bidoof. But I guess because since being a normal type Pokemon, you know, you can't really do too much. I'm just saying, the only reason why I bring it up is because, you know, when I think of the bandana, that's all I'm thinking about is Mystery Dungeon. Um, they usually have the usual 5 one sound. Hopefully, I, oh, actually, yeah, I don't think, did I? Oh, no, no, um, let me see. Uh, I, I think, yeah, right here. Because uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think the paws of uh, Bidoof uh, are already filled in. And I don't think they were able to do so to put in. And then I don't think the how the usual paw thing is for uh, when they do the buttons. Uh, it's not as big as, you know. Or, I mean, it, it's not enough to put into the paw without it, like, I guess, really making the paw look very messed up and whatnot. So, other than that, uh, I'm also happy, too. Because, like, you know, uh, for the as I probably already said or hopefully to be saying now... Uh, I named uh, my Bidoof peanut butter after the Dorkly uh, character from uh, the Rusty Edition. And then, what, I think one side story, and I think that was about it. And you think with all the times that they ever show towards the end of the title card, they always have, you know, shiny Bidoof peanut butter that uh, they... You know, you think you know, there would be a lot more considering, you know, all the other stuff. Like, Pal World would have been something that like you would see peanut butter in, you know. The very least, considering, you know, the whole thing with being, you know, different between Power World and Pokemon, like how they just did, I think, one of the most current videos that they did for, well, at least for what I remember, because I haven't really been doing too much of watching the videos and whatnot, but the very least, you know, I think that would have been also included. Um, and the reason why I also kind of bring up uh, Peanut Butter as well, because, like, when you kind of, because, like, uh, another thing that uh, Builder Bear, I don't know if it's a distinction between, you know, actual plushes or they just want to do one specific color compared to the other because sometimes like artwork will be like a lot uh they won't be exactly the same color compared to like you know what you either see in anime or what you might see in a manga or something like that that uh because uh considering Bidoof's technically supposed to be more dark brown i think what from the video games and i think even in anime and that uh for my Bidoof here it's more of like a lightish like a, almost like a honey colored brown look 
which kind of, you know, the very well, at least it kind of makes it okay to be uh, calling uh, Bidoof peanut butter, or at least for anything for the Build-A-Bear uh, Bidoof peanut butter, because, you know, it technically is it's supposed to be the shiny variant of uh, Bidoof for uh, this kind of color. So, um, other than that, uh, pretty good price overall for how much uh, Bidoof costs, especially, you know, for how much you're paying for, for Bidoof in and of itself, is that is very worth worth the price of how much you're paying and, and how big the Bidoof is and that uh you know pretty good cool collection you know not really any arguments or anything uh kind of like the whole lumberjack kind of thing because you know Bidoof's supposed to be modeled after a beaver and I think it's supposed to be like something of a, a specific species of beaver that's supposed to be like not like with the paddle tail or at least I don't know if it's supposed to be a small tail or no tail or something like that because in the um Boba Pito, uh app that i have that actually says that it's supposed to be modeled after i can't really remember the the beaver species but it's supposed to be modeled after a specific one that doesn't have like the whole like you know paddle tail kind of thing and then also considering the fact that one of the youtube channels that i have uh currently i don't know if it's a san diego zoo or uh twitter i have for uh zoo related stuff that uh one of them had, uh, apparently it was supposed to be like a beaver day that I think was like towards the end of last month, if I'm not mistaken. Or it might have been the beginning of this month, I can't really remember. But just to, to find out that there actually is a, such a, a thing as beaver day, which technically they, uh, after uh, waiting a bit, I was kind of planning on doing when I found out about the beaver day. It would have been so good to actually do a video on that time, but I was busy or I ended up losing track of time and, and you know, stuff didn't happen, so... I'm really happy as of right now to actually show you guys uh, peanut butter and that, uh, you know, at the very least, you know, how cute and adorable peanut butter is. And that uh, to inform you guys about them or, well, taking minds of her, but, you know, him or her, it doesn't really matter. Or, I mean, I know a lot of people would probably matter, but who's to say? Uh, anyway, uh, thank you guys all for watching my video. I hope to be doing a few more videos. Uh, I'm kind of hoping i can do something uh towards the end of this week i only you know i only have the two days with whatever or hopefully by next week i should be doing something because i do have a few more plushies i want to do i am trying to see about doing some other stuff maybe to try to do some more uh get back into the card opening videos or at the very least maybe uh do some more shorts i really don't know i, I have somewhat of an idea i want i want to do for a short i uh for uh, a particular person's birthday i might be doing that tomorrow or today because i think it's supposed to be his birthday i can't really remember if I have, I'll either do it today or I'll do it tomorrow, belated or on, who's to say. But just stay tuned for anything of a short for something like that. Other than that, thank you guys all for watching my video. Uh, if you have subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do. If you have subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you hit that bell notification so you get notifications for future videos. If you like this video, give it a like. If you have any suggestions you want to see for our next video, anything you want to see for my YouTube channel, or anything else at all, write it down in the comment section below. Thank you guys, yeah. Thank you guys all for watching my video, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.